Hi everyone, um, it's now my turn to make a video for the Raptors. Um, so the first question is, what's your name and what do you do at the Raptors? Um, my name is Lauren Rogers and I play as a centre midfielder in the ladies team. Uh, next question, how long have you lived in Prague and what brought you here? I have lived in Prague since 2006 and what brought me here was I met a couple of people in Australia that were from Czech and they offered me a job as a snowboard instructor and I'm like where's Czech Republic I had no idea where Czech Republic was but I said yeah why not so I bought a one-way ticket to to Prague and uh, then I met a couple of friends in Spindle and I stayed there for the winter season working as a snowboard instructor and I absolutely loved it um it's one of the best jobs I've ever had because I'm outside on a snowboard all day um, doing something that I love and getting paid for it. Um, absolutely amazing. So um, how do you think the season is going so far for the Raptors? Well, speaking for the ladies team, um, I think we've done an absolute amazing job um, considering our first season. Um, this season we are winning games and I honestly believe if all our players show up and we are committed to training, I believe that we actually have the ability to win this uh, whole tournament um, or at least be in the top three to four teams. Um, okay, and what do you love about the Raptors? Well, what I love about the Raptors is that I'm a mum with two kids and I dedicate myself to Raptors because it's something, it's, it's me time, my time. I get to get out there and I get to play football and do something I love and I don't need to worry about anyone else. And the best thing about the Raptors is it's kind of like a little family. So when you travel and you come to another country, you can sometimes feel a little bit left out. Um, and these girls in this team, they're so friendly and they just invite everyone. We, we go out together, we party together, and it's absolutely amazing. It makes me feel like I'm 18 years old again. Um, are there people in the club that you really admire? <laughs> I think I admire everybody in the club, but there are three people that stand out for me. Number one would be our captain, Anna. Anna is just absolutely amazing. There's nothing she can't do, nothing she won't do. Um, if I asked her to come pick me up two hours from somewhere, then she'd most probably come for sure. Um, she just keeps the team organized and she, she's our rock. She keeps us together and, um, and I've, every time I see her, she's always smiling. Um, the next one I'd like to point out is Lewis, our coach. He gives up his time freely to come and coach us. And he really looks at what we need to improve on and he he finds whatever activities he can to really help us improve in the areas that we need to. And I know we don't have enough time to focus on everything. And uh, two lessons or two coaching sessions a week would uh, be ideal for us to achieve a lot more. Um, but he does it from the goodness of his heart. He's so patient with us. Even though sometimes, you know, we see him holding onto his head going, oh no, you know. But um, he sticks with us and he's patient and he really um, pushes us to do our best. And number three is Martin. Um, he just takes the level up just one notch more. Like when we're off the bench, he's laying out these little towels. He makes sure all our um, water bottles are filled. He just, he's like the, the daddy of the team. And if anyone gets hurt, he's there to help them. He's got his little spray to spray on ankles. And, you know, um, it's really handy having him there. So thank you, Martin. Um, what's the next one? Um, who is the funniest in the dressing room? Hands down, that goes to Tala. Even if you have a look at her um, video that she's posted, you can see she's she's funny. She makes everyone laugh and without her, Raptors wouldn't be the same. So come on, Tala, get yourself ready and back into that change room and back onto the field so we can, um, you know, have your spirit around us again. Um, next one. What do you do away from football? Jobs, hobbies and study. So... My job is, uh, I'm a freelancer, I teach English, um, I teach English to business people who are um, working on their own businesses, so it's kind of business coaching, which means I'm helping them, you know, double their sales turnover, but also how to give presentations and, you know, to speak fluently in, in English, and I also work part-time at the local school, um, because they were begging me to work there, because they really would love a native speaker, so I work part-time at the school as well. My hobbies, number one is football. At the moment, um, my hobbies are normally, um, I'm attracted to adrenaline. 
uh, hobbies, things like skydiving, bungee jumping, um, skiing, snowboarding, you name it. Anything that has adrenaline, I'm there for it. Um, motorbike riding. Um, and I also, another hobby is just playing with my kids. I love playing with my kids. My, my boy is constantly asking me to play football with him out in the garden and my girl is always asking me to dance with her. So I'm dancing and playing football all day long, especially now that we're on where we are suspended and we are stuck at home. So how is the current lockdown situation affecting you and your loved ones? Well, in this situation, I am actually one of the lucky ones. Uh, I'm still getting paid and I'm at home. I'm on holidays. Um, I do need to prepare some work for the kids at school, but it was quite easy because there's two teachers and I'm continuing some of my one-on-one -on -one, um, groups. But a lot of people have, during this quarantine time, um, they don't really need anything for their business because their business has stopped. So um, the lockdown situation is quite good for me. I get to stay at home and play with my kids, homeschooling the kids, my God, trying to get them to sit down and open their books and do the work. Uh, it can be hard sometimes, but uh, we're getting through it. I actually went away for a week just recently and my daddy was at home and now he knows uh, how much work it is to homeschool kids, cook lunch, cook dinner, clean the house, do everything at once. So I'm very grateful for that situation. Um, my partner's uh, financial situation may be affected. We He has a flower company where they grow seeds to flowers. And of course, this is very seasonal. So if the corona situation continues how it is now, it may be drastically affected because flowers, you can't just stop them from growing. They're very seasonal. So if there's no buyers, um, we're just gonna have a lot of plants that are just going to die. Or maybe I'm gonna have millions of plants in my own garden because we would decide just to keep them. Um, but hopefully I, the business will still go ahead and they won't lose too much money. And my heart goes out to anyone who's suffering during this time. But the one thing I have noticed about this is that the air is cleaner, the water's coming back, we are healing the earth. So it's an absolutely fantastic time for Mother Earth. And if you are in a bad situation, I would say let's focus on what good can come out of it. And I know some people may be really, really stressed about, oh my God, how am I going to pay my bills and what's going to happen next? But I'm sure everyone will make it through and we'll come out of it on the other side okay. So that's it for me and I'd like to see you guys on the pitch.